So let's get to the good stuff. Now, I need y'all to think back to a point where somebody possibly hurt you and you got to a point where you began to heal. Let's say it's a few months later and you begin to heal. You're starting to smile again. You meet some new people, some people who are interesting to you that you may entertain. This is the first time you got to a point where you can entertain somebody and all of a sudden that ex shows back up. Now, in your mind, you're thinking, why didn't, didn't you come earlier? You know, when I was hurt and when I wanted to be with you, why didn't you show up then? And you all of a sudden want to show up whenever I'm ready to move on with somebody else. And the reason is, is because they're trying to distract you. And so if you want to get back at an ex, and when I speak of these exes who hurt you, I'm talking about individuals who took advantage of you. I'm not talking about healthy situations where you mutually agreed to separate and it just wasn't the right fit. I'm talking about these individuals who are narcissists, these individuals who basically used you to get what they want and then they moved on so they hurt you intentionally or it wasn't necessarily intentional on the part of i want to see this person hurt per se but it's that i need to get what i need to get and then i'm moving on that's who we're talking about and so the first thing you need to do is rediscover your worth and your value because when you're dealing with a narcissist you're dealing with an individual who takes pride and they build themselves off of somebody else being attached to them feeling valuable to another person and so when you rediscover your value you're basically saying that you no longer matter to me when you get to a point where you smile again when you get to a point where you begin to entertain somebody else then you're sending the message to them that you don't have that stronghold over me anymore that's why they show back up in an effort to reel you back in and it's not necessarily to be with you it's to reel you back in or it's to prove to themselves that they still or that you really want to be with them and that's what they want to know and so when you rediscover your value that's your way of saying that you don't have that hold over me anymore and they hate that the second thing is no communication now i know you want your questions answered i know you want to know why they did what they did i know you want to want to know if they really cared about you i know you want to know those things but Sometimes you have to just cut off communication because the truth is you're not going to always get the answers that you want. Nine times out of 10, they either going to lie to you, they're going to give you a half answer, or they're not going to give you an answer at all. Hardly ever will you get the full truth. But those narcissists, they love you asking those questions or they love when you ask those questions because it means that you're still attached to them. And so you blowing up their phone, you sending text messages, although it may annoy them, they still get some type of fuel off of knowing that they still have you mentally. And so when you cut off communication, it confuses them because they are used to individuals chasing them. I'm pretty sure you're not the first individual that they hurt. And so they are used to people chasing them and that's how they build themselves up. That makes them feel like they're somebody. And the third thing is to make them feel like they do not matter. Now, if it's a true narcissist, nine times out of 10, they're going to come back down the line because what they're going to try to do is smooth things over with you. They're not going to do it right away, but they're going to try to come back whenever you're at a better place and say that, you know what, I messed up. Um, and this is like that first scenario I talked about whenever they show up when you're about to move on they'll say you know I, I I shouldn't have done you that way you're such a good person um you're gonna make somebody such a great uh girlfriend or boyfriend but the one thing that nine times out of ten they won't say is that I want to be with you because they never had any intentions in the first place but in that moment they're going to try to apologize to smooth things over because they don't either want a bad reputation or they 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 just feel a little guilt and so the way you get back at them if you want to knock them out if you want to give them an uppercut is to respond some way or something similar to you know i appreciate you apologizing but there's no apology that's necessary you know i recognize during that time that what you did was the greatest thing ever because i realized i, I deserve better I realized that, you know, I was settling and that, um, you know, I deserve so much better and I'm at a place where I'm just truly happy. And so thank you, actually, um, because I realized that, you know, there's a better situation that's out there for me. And if you hit them with that. I, oh, that's a that's a knockout. I, mean, I need you to understand that's a knockout because in that moment, what you told them is that they're not worthy of you because when you got hurt, you felt like you weren't worthy of them. You felt rejected. And so what you did was flip the narrative and say, you weren't worthy of me. And I realize that now you have no stronghold over me. I don't want to be with you. Um, and you just literally tore them down. And so um, I, I, I hope that you consider these things. The other things, that's not the way. Think about these things. And at, let's just say at worst case scenario, if none of these work, 
the fact that you're working on yourself, the fact that you're not communicating with them anymore, that's enough to get you to a path of healing. And so even if it has no effect on them, it'll have an effect on you because you'll focus on healing. So worst case, if it doesn't affect them, it will affect you and you will heal. So I hope that this video gave you some clarification. I hope that you'll take a different route, put down the bat, uh, put down the 38 special, put down the, the knife, uh, don't send the Facebook message, don't send the tweet, Go ahead and just process uh, rediscovering yourself, process healing. That's what this is really about. Um, and if they are narcissists, they'll feel the effects. You don't even have to see it. I promise it's happening behind the scenes. So I hope this, you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank all of you for supporting me. Please subscribe to this channel. Give me your comments. What are your thoughts about this? Do you have some other ways to get back at it next? Let me know what they are. Um, follow me on Instagram at Dr. Corey Guyton. I need y'all to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Um, but as always, thank y'all and have a wonderful day.